Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with a Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus Devon's Path. So, I'm not sure how much longer this current route is going to last. It's been going on for a while. You know, Day 2 has had plenty of content for uh, Devon. Let's see. Alright. Last time we left off, we were just gossiping away with the cuties in their room, and turns out Lake's got a crush on someone. People in the comments were speculating about who it was. I think it might be Travis. I suppose we will find out later down the line. So, anyway, everyone. Oop. Let's, uh, load. There we go. No. Return. No. No. Let's go to... Damn it! Perhaps. Okay. Return. Cancel. There we go. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. That was weird. Okay, let's jump right back into it, shall we? Lewd. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. If that will help you, sure. My, my, you're both very silly. And both terribly secretive. Better secretive than untruthful. It's a very not finished thing to lie, you know. Good luck. You're both going to need it. I left Jorgen and Lake in the room and went out for a walk through the guest house. I thought that mentioning it to someone else would make me feel better, but it didn't. Talking about it is hard. I don't feel ready for that. I didn't meet anyone else on my way, but it wasn't. But I wasn't really in the mood for talking anyway, so that's good. Standing at the glazed wall, I look outside and, and take in the view. Just one second, guys. Let me. There we go. The dark clouds hang heavy above the mountain slopes, casting deep shadows. A sauna on a cold day like this would be nice. Good thing there's no one here. Yeah, that would. That should help me relax. Actually, why didn't I think of it earlier? We didn't have the time for sauna after swimming, but now I have all the time in the world. Uh-oh. Something's gonna happen. Can feel it calling in the air. Okay. Before I get copyrighted. I didn't have time to get sweaty since I showered at, since I showered after the swimming pool, so I just rinsed my fur quickly. This time, when I entered the locker room, I stumbled upon Travis and some rather buff, mild-mannered moose chatting together. A, a moose? They seemed to be good friends, so I just greeted them and kept to myself, hoping they were here for the swimming pool. Thankfully, as soon as they were done with changing, they ran off there, and I exhaled with relief. It's not like I'd mind company, but something tells me those two would be rather loud. Are we going to get to see the moose? At some point? That'd be cool. It's the fourth time I'm here, and it's just the second day of the camp. Huh. I bet I'm going to be one of the more frequent guests here. I close my locker and walk towards the sauna, grabbing a fresh towel from the pile at the entrance on my way. I hoped that the sauna would be empty, but there's a pair of flip-flops left near the door. I wonder who these might belong to. Uh-huh. Oh. On one bench since the last person I thought I'd walk on now. I thought I'd walk in on now. Devin. <laughs> he nods at me and looks away, staring off into the window, into the distance, at the, mountain at the mountain steeped in the setting sun. Even though he's sitting on a bench, he has a towel wrapped tightly around his waist. I'm not sure what to do, but I didn't expect to see him here, out of all the people. It's too late to leave now, though. I keep my towel on and just sit near him, one bench lower. God, that looks so nice and comfy. Oh, this is really comfortable. Neither of us says anything. I can easily tell Devin is feeling tense, and so do I, although for a different reason. I wonder if he would react like that to anyone, or is he uncomfortable being half-naked around me? Well, I kind of gave him a good reason for that, after all. The heart from the, the heat from the stove finally penetrates through my fur and envelops me, warming my skin. I sit back and close my eyes, enjoying the sensation. Are Americans really this queasy about being naked? Yeah. 
as if the body was something dirty that has to be concealed. Being naked in the same room doesn't need to have any sexual connotations. Thank you. Not for us Finns, at least. Slowly, all the tension I felt when I entered here leaves me, evaporating with the steam. My breathing slows down and my body relaxes. Some more steam would be nice, but I bet it would get too hot for Devon here. I love the peaceful stillness here. It feels like it feels as if the intense heat was warping and stretching the delicate fabric of time. Slowly, I forget about the all the, I forget about all the world around me, until only this sauna, Devon, and me remain. No. Hell yeah, man. Looks different than his sprite, that's for sure. Good lord, he buff. He a buff boy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, he's a man. He's a buff man. I glance at Devon again. Now, where is... Does he not have any balls? You can clearly see a gap right here. <laughs> he still seems tense and embarrassed, but at least he's still here. Maybe a bit of talking would help him relax. Devon? Uh, you've been to the sauna before, right? A few times. We've had one in a gym in my hometown, but I wasn't a frequent visitor. It wasn't as nice as this sauna. Quite far from it, actually. I went to a public sauna once after I moved here, but I didn't expect to see people sitting in the sauna fully naked. That's not what you usually see in saunas in the U.S., at least not in Ohio. Wait, 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 let's go back. Look at that smile! Thank you for keeping the towel on, by the way. It's definitely hard to avoid naked people in a sauna. Good there's no one else here now. So, how do you like it? I always feel better after a session in sauna. It's relaxing and soothes muscle pains after some heavy exercise. Look at that little palm mark right there. It's also a great place for thinking. It has an almost meditative feel to it. If I remember right, saunas are a huge part of the culture in Finland, right? Yeah, more so than for the other Nordic nations. It's estimated, that here, it's estimated that here's actually around 2.5 million saunas in Finland. It's almost one for every two Finns. Most people use them at least once a week, and many have a sauna in the same building where they live. We have saunas in stadiums and offices and embassies. There's even a sauna in our parliament. In this fast-paced modern world, it's the one place where it's always tranquil. Interesting. I like saunas, but having them in offices seems a bit much. Not for us. I'm talking in English with Norwegians here, too, so sometimes it's easy to forget that Devon is a foreigner. Although, I don't suppose that living in America is much different. Or, at least, that was always my perception. I've been wondering, how different is the U.S. to Norway? I never talked about it with someone who grew up there. The USA is a huge country. The different states can almost be as different European countries are compared to each other. Ohio, where I lived, is mostly farmlands. I don't have too many experiences from the rest of the country, sadly. One thing you'd notice immediately is that cities in the U.S. are designed with cars in mind, and getting anywhere without them is a struggle. I had problems adjusting at first. Driving here is harder and much less convenient. It took me a while, but finally I found the walkability of Norwegian towns rather nice. I rarely use a car now, as getting anywhere on a bike is simply easier. With the winter approaching, I'll probably switch to a car again, although room vouches that the public transport here is enough in most cases. Devin wipes sweat off his brow with a heavy sigh. The soft light emanating from the stove nicely accentuates his broad frame and muscles hidden under the black fur. I wondered about it before, but Devin doesn't really look like that typical for a Black Panther. He has rather light-colored fur, especially on his belly, and has clearly visible dark spot, darker spots. I haven't seen many Black Panthers before, but I know it's unusual. Uh, Coach, um, uh, Devin? Yes? I hope it's not too personal a question, but you're two species, right? Almost no pairings of two animals of different species can produce offspring. Interspecies pairs mostly rely on adoption or in vitro fertilization using material from another member of their species. Seeing someone two species is rather rare. It's nothing taboo, though, at least not here in Scandinavia. It's quite obvious, isn't it? My mother was always two species. My grandpa on my mother's side was a lion. That's pretty cool. Cool? That's not the word I'd use. Can you imagine? Living in a conservative state in a town in the middle of nowhere, being two species and a. a fag? 
That's a word I haven't heard in a long time. I'm so shocked that the gravity of what he's saying takes a moment to hit me. Is that, what, is that what they were calling him? But I was right. Devin is gay. Is that why you moved out? I moved out because I was tired of having to choose between pretending I'm someone who I'm not and having to fight the whole world. I fought for a while, but I don't want to fight for my whole life. I'm not sure what to say, so I say nothing. Is there really anything one can say after a confession like that? I won't even pretend I can imagine what, what his life must have looked like. Devin looks out the window again, a somber look on his face. But what I heard in his voice earlier wasn't sadness, but anger. Anger, resentment, and hesitation. I wouldn't be surprised if I was the first person he has told this to. Times are changing, but some places are changing slower than others. I'm sorry for unpacking all this on you. I don't know what came over me. It's okay. I understand it must be hard to carry that baggage with you. I like to make him feel better somehow, but there's nothing I can say that could change what he went through. I want to tell him everything will be fine here and that he can be himself, but it sounds stupid even in my head. It's almost silly now being born in a wrong place. It's almost silly how being born in a wrong place can ruin your life. I don't know about you, but this but this must heat is enough for me. I need to go cool down. Devin stands up and walks down the row of benches, panting. Huh? Did the lights just go out? The stove is still burning bright, but the lamps are still dark. Looking outside, I can't see any lights either. Huh. This wasn't planned. I better go check what's going on. Uh-oh, mystery! Devin continues towards the sauna door, keeping his tail low. Are you going to? Oh, yeah! The panther leaves the sauna, and I walk out after him. Damn it! <laughs> this better not be the end, damn it! Damn it, it is the end! Shit! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it sucks, but it's fine. Huge thanks goes to Squee and Rinka, who both worked on proofreading for this build. If you like the game, please consider becoming our patron. By supporting us, there you can get new builds of Dawn Course on release, plus other perks, like access to polls and sneak peeks from the upcoming updates. You guys are awesome. Okay, so guys, the next one I'm going to be doing is Miko and then Rune, and then the rest of the boys. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This was, uh... Devon's Path for Dawn Chorus. To be continued, of course. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That worked out rather well. Now let me take a look at the jump to root. It's weird, though. I've already reached... I've already reached Devon and, uh... Dev yeah, I've, I've, already, I've done uh, Lake. I can't remember the other person. <sighs> oh, sorry about that. Anyway, guys, uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more coming up for Dawn Chorus. Going to be starting Miko's run. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and reach that notification bell. Guys, we are 11 subs away. Probably going to be less than that when this video goes up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.